Hello and welcome to Only Connect. And I hope everyone watching at home is feeling well, coping with all the strangeness. I must say, I had hoped that by this stage of the series we wouldn't be needing the Perspex screens, but it seems we're not quite out of the woods yet. Nobody knows anything, do they? So we all just stumble along, doing our best, trying to remember a few simple rules. Be careful, be kind. And of course, there are some situations where it would just be better for everyone if people wore masks. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Richard John, a programme manager who was once evicted from a Croatian passenger train at midnight. Sarah Johnson, a natural sciences graduate with a fear of hanging baskets. And their captain, Rachel Munro, a law graduate who won a radio competition to have lunch with WWE wrestlers. United by a shared love of shuffleboarding, they are the sliders. Now, Rachel, strangely, your heat was the only one of the series that didn't have a married couple in it. Do you think that was a, an advantage for your team or a disadvantage? I think we squabble like we're married, so it probably didn't make much difference. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming back. This time you are playing on my left. Paul Taylor, a maths graduate who once made a computer out of 10,000 dominoes. Ali Lloyd, a software developer who has written an app to record the tasting notes in varieties of whiskey. And their captain, Katie Steckles, a maths lecturer who has donated 49 pints of blood. United by a passion for puzzles, they are the puzzle hunters. Now, your team was the one that had tried several times to get on Only Connect, finally made it and scored 28 points in your first heat. What's the happiest moment that you remember from that first game? I think sort of coming back from the walls, knowing, like, not knowing whether we were in the lead because we didn't see what happened on the other wall, but then hearing the scores just before we went into the final round, kind of knowing that we had a bit of a lead, it was quite a good kind of morale boost. Welcome back, all of you. Lovely to see you again. We tossed a coin before the start of the game. You won Puzzle Hunters and had the choice to go first, but you've elected to send your opponents in. So, sliders, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Um, can we take Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you may. It's the music question to kick <laughs> off the show. You'll be hearing your clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Next, please. Trailer for sale or rent. This is King of the Road. Next, please. There's a voice. Keeps on coming. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's something to lock. Uh, That's being where I'll be. Like, uh, yes, it comes to you. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. You can never tell when he'll show up. He gives you plenty of trouble. Trump, isn't it? I guess he's just a... Are they associated with people that are vagrant? Yes, they are. They're all songs about gentlemen of the road, although they're not all quite people. What did we hear? Um, that's Why the Lady is a Tramp. Was... It's not That's Why the Lady <laughs> is a Tramp. This is Peggy Lee from the Disney film Lady and the Tramp, but the song is He's a Tramp. And then was there the theme to The Littlest Hobo? The Littlest Hobo, yes, about the sort of Alsatian, so yep. they're not quite, not quite a person either. And, uh, and uh, uh, the King second of the Road one? was another one. King of the Road, uh, Roger Miller from the 60s. And the first one, did you know? No idea. Vaughan Williams, Songs of Travel. It's the poems of Robert Louis Stevenson, and that was The Vagabond, set to music by Vaughan Williams. Well done. So that's a point to you. Puzzle Hunters, what would you like? Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Galaxy. So it's a galaxy, yeah. It's also a sci-fi show, yeah. I think. Do you have the next one? Yeah. Next. Fake. It's a type of news. I don't know. Okay. We get another. Next. Is that like a book of the Bible? So, get another. Yeah, next. Oh, are they all A for Andromeda, Z for Zechariah? Um, so these are all things that are of the form, the first letter, then the word for, and then that word, and they're all kind of um, books or TV shows or works of fiction. Well, that's right, some of them are books and TV shows, but actually they are also all films but your answer is also correct. So A for Andromeda, it was originally a TV series, but then it was made as a film uh, with uh, Tom Hardy in it. F for fake, do you know what that is? 
It was an Orson Welles documentary about forgery. Z for Zachariah. That's a film from 2015. <laughs> uh, and uh, so is it only V for Vendetta you recognise? Yeah, it's a graphic novel and a film, um, but they all seem plausible. Well, that's right. V for Vendetta. Yes, it's a film uh, set in a, a futuristic, totalitarian Britain, if you could imagine such a thing. <laughs> well done. That's a point to you two. Sliders, what would you like? Um, can we take two reads, please? Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, it's um, this Galloway. Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was back. Yeah. Are these political parties that George Galloway stood for in those years? That is not the answer, I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the fourth clue to the puzzle hunters for a possible bonus point. Parties that got one MP in those years. They are parties that had one MP elected. That first one, the Respect Party, that is George Galloway. He beat Una King in 2005. Do you know what the Alliance Party is? No. It's in Northern <laughs> Ireland. That first one, 2010, it was the first minister, Peter Robertson, who lost his seat to the Alliance Party. Again, in 2019, they won a seat. UKIP, it was uh, Douglas Carswell. He was already a Conservative in the seat, and th there was a by-election when he, he changed to, to UKIP, and he hung on to it in 2015. And then the Green Party in all those years, Caroline Lucas, the MP. So you get the bonus point, Puzzle Hunters, and what would you like for your own question? Uh, Hornet Viper, please. Absolutely. You will also have four clues, but you may not need all of them. Your first clue coming in now. It's a leg, is it? Yeah, it's a leg. Oh, is it cricket or...? It's a small game. I don't know. Um, get another one. Yeah, we'll get another one. Next. It must be like you change the word somehow to get the second one. I don't know. Should we take another? Yeah. Next. So H1N1 was... Yeah. Next. That's a I and B. Does it like... One second. Oh, you're out of time. So, bonus chance for you now, Sliders, if you know the answer. Are these ways of being out in cricket? They, <laughs> they are not. Although, I must say, if you had swine flu, which features at Clue 3, I suppose it would be only polite to retire, wouldn't it, to the tea room? Uh, would, you have, would you have known, Katie, if you'd pressed in time? I think, is it like idioms? Because there's I before E except after C. And pearls before swine, Pearl yeah. Mackey from Doctor yeah. Who. It is all yeah. something before something. So, yes, that's swine flu. They're, they're famous people called Pearl, Pearl Bailey, Pearl Mackey. So, pearls before swine. The one that you did spot, I before E, except after C. And there's leg and before uh, wicket there. That first one is leg before wicket, uh, before so that's where being out in cricket. And the second one? Age before beauty. Age before beauty. So uh, uh, De Villeneuve wrote La Belle et la Bête, Beauty and the Beast. So the heroine would be beauty, age before beauty. No points there, but you may have your own question sliders. What would you like? Um, twisted flax, please. OK, the twisted flax. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. It's a bit of it. OK, next, please. That's the Venger boys. Yeah. Bitter. Next, please. It's Concord. Venger, Concord. Next, please. Oh, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah. Um, is it boom, boom, or boom? <laughs> the answer to this wonderful question is they all go boom. <laughs> what are we looking at? So you've got Basil Brash is the last one who's boom, boom. Mm -hmm. um, Concord breaks the sound barrier, or did break the sound barrier. That's right, created a boom. sonic boom, that's right. Um, and Venger Boys had a hit with boom, boom, boom. Boom. I believe it was boom, 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 boom. 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 <laughs> and the first one, the bittern, do you know how that fits in? Is that the noise it makes? Well, apparently that's its mating call. A bit laddish, isn't it? It sort of, <laughs> sort of makes a noise that sounds like it's shouting boom when it's sort of ready for action. But don't we all? So, uh, well done. And back to the puzzle hunters for a question. The water question is what it's going to be. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Okay. Yeah. Should we get another? Yeah. 
next. So is that like a contract or a murder? Or... I don't know. I don't know. Get another. Yeah. Next. It's been like, uh, like from a nursery room or something. Yeah. Things from a nursery rhyme? <laughs> it is very much not from a nursery rhyme. Sliders, another bonus chance for you. Um, no. Perhaps if I told you more specifically what these clues describe, the cleaning job is cleaning the cattle stables of King Orgius. Uh, the three killing jobs, that would be killing the Nemean lion, the hydra, and the Stymphalian birds. What are we talking about? The labours of... Hercules. Hercules. Did you all say Hercules? Hercules. Hercules. They all, well, <laughs> you see, mm, I would say Hercules myself. Mr. Magaki, one of our question editors, says that one ought to put Heracles, that that would be the more proper title. The, uh, Mr. Whaley Cohen, the other question editor, agreed with me. He, Mr. Whaley Cohen was in the dressing room and I explained I would say Hercules. I said it very robustly and he left the room smiling. But then I heard loud sobs in the corridor, which can only mean he'd explained it to Mr. Magaki, who wasn't happy with the ruling. No points there then. That means at the end of the round, the sliders have two points and the puzzle hunters have two points. <laughs> On to round two, the sequence is round and sliders, you'll be going first again. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Um, can we take Lion this time, please? You absolutely may. So you'll be seeing the first in a series of clues, what might come forth. Time starts now. Okay. Okay. Areas of London. Yeah. Could it be those yeah. Next, please. Maybe that's in Yorkshire. Or whether these were Coronation Street is set. Next, please. Okay. What is see. Are they power stations? Yeah. But it's a sequence. The parks. Battersea uh -huh. Bridge. No, I don't. Um, Got anything. No, I can't say. No. Sorry. Um, no, sorry. Okay, a bonus chance for you now, Puzzle Hunters. Uh, we were going to say some power station, but I can't think of any power stations. What if I were to tell you that it's nothing to do with geography? The first clue is Haringey, but it could have been Bombay. Would have worked just as well. At the ends of those place names, you will find the sounds A, B, C. So I wanted to hear something like Dundee. No bonus puzzle hunters, but you may have a question. What would you like? Uh, the twisted flax, please. OK. What would come forth in this sequence is the first. That's how many legs it has. <laughs> Should we get the other one? Next. Uh, that's how many letters it has. Um, I don't know if we're going to get that. Should we get another? Yeah. Next. Oh, no, no, sorry. Is this some kind of children's book or. I don't know. Two okay. seconds. And um, Lion 5. And why would that be? There are animals and the numbers increase. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Sliders, do you know? Giraffe, five. That's not it either. It's the number of toes they have on one foot, two toes on an ostrich's foot, an emu has three, hippopotamus has four, so something like human five. Lions do actually have, sort of, five toes on their front paw but four on the back, and I think which is what most people thought of. So if you said, well, I was thinking specifically of the front <laughs> paw of a lion because it's a sequence of toes, I might have given it to you because you might find five toes there. But uh, 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 traditionally, the human is what we would think of as the five-toed creature. That's what I was looking for. Sliders, what would you like? Um, two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Well, it's my shepherd, so that is it. Next, please. Oh, That's Chicago. Um, next, so please. Music or is it a sequence? Is that yeah, the Saint? It's Roger Moore, it's Roger Moore. In the Saint, maybe? Chicago, Chicago Saint. Saint. It's... 
Um, is that a picture of a compass um, headed with a point heading upwards? That is exactly what it is. <laughs> and why? Because these are the names of Kim Kardashian's children. We're talking about the children of Kim Kardashian and... Kanye West. And we Kanye practiced West. this. You <laughs> practiced a sequence of the children of yeah. the Kardashian Wests. That is my level. And well, very well done. Uh, <laughs> and it is absolutely a, a, an arrow pointing to the north on a compass. Well done. OK, Puzzle Hunters, what would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, that's a Canadian place. Um, next. That's another place. Yeah. Is that like a province? Canary, a province as well. Yeah. Yes. So what's going to be the first province in Canada? It might be geographical rather than... Yeah. Should we get another one? Yeah. Next. Quebec. Is that a city or a province? I don't know. Or just another... Like... Toronto. Yeah, something like that. First Toronto? I'm afraid that's not it. Sliders, do you know? Is it First British Columbia? Not it either. Now, this one is a geography question. Mm. It is Canadian provinces and territories by size, and we're getting bigger. And first, I'm having none of it. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I was <laughs> determined to say I'm having none of it. That would be the largest province territory in Canada. Back to you, Sliders, for a choice. Um, can we take water, please? Yes, you may. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. So it might be another one. Next. Next, please. to Richard. Is it 32? Yes, it is. And why? Uh, it's pairs of prime numbers decreasing. That's exactly it. So it's just the two numbers, 19 and 17, and we're going down through the primes, 13, 11, 7, 5, 3, 2. Last question of the round for you, Puzzle Hunters. Your first clue is coming in now. OK, that's a brand of electronics goods. It's surname. Should we get another one? Yeah. Next. Maybe it's doing some alpha. Mm, Should we get, get the next one? Next. JFK, I need to go for just as it is. OK. Kennedy. Kennedy? Not the answer, I'm afraid. Sliders, do you know? United. Not it, but you're closer. Normally, you see, you wouldn't see these words written out in full. You just see the first letters. P, S, V, Eindhoven. It is the expanded name of the Dutch football club, PSV Eindhoven. Unlucky. So that means at the end of round two, the puzzle hunters have two points, the sliders have six. <laughs> Connecting wall time now. 16 clues like the toes of a hippopotamus, unless it's got different ones on one of its feet. I simply have no idea. Puzzle hunters, it'll be your turn to go first this time. Would you like lion or water? Um, lion, please. OK. <laughs> you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. OK. There's fish. There's Wanda is a fish. Nemo. Flounder. Flounder. Haddock. Haddock. Is that a fish or is that just a type of fish? Yes, we got Captain Bono, Enya, solo artists. Yeah. yeah. Dana? Yeah. Um. I don't know. Any of the fish? Mm. Is any of a fish? <laughs> it's handy. Handy, handy. Yeah. Um. Hammer is a character in a TV show. Oh, and it... oh yeah. Try. And the Dana Bonoenia. Yeah. Smaller, it doesn't fit. 
Asia, I think. Possibly. Yeah, it could be. Somebody had it flounder. Nemo's not a type of fish, though, is it? Try Hannah. You've got a minute left. So Captain Air, have Captain Nemo. Could be Captain Klaus. Captain Haddock, the fish yeah. guy. Klaus. Captain Ahab, Captain Nemo. Who's yeah. Mrs. Puff? Very wordy things. Wonder and handy of and in the middle, but that's not. <laughs> Ten seconds. Sorry, your time is up and the wall has frozen. I'm sorry, that was just awful. I couldn't get any of them and I am literally holding the answers and looking at them and I still couldn't get any points, so I feel your pain. Nevertheless, you can still get points for the connections. So let's resolve the wall. There we are. That is the solved wall. So can you find any of the connections? Wanda, Enya, Ali, Hannah or Hannah? I mean, solo artists. I'm afraid that's not it. It's a horrible word one. You need to add a letter at the beginning to get an African country. You can get Rwanda, Kenya, Mali and Ghana if you add a letter. And the second group, Bono, Dana, Imelda May and Hosea. Heads of musical acts. I'm afraid that's not it because unfortunately it really is a combination. I think Bono is very famously not a solo artist but the lead singer of U2 and some of those others are solo singers. What they are all is Irish. They are Irish singers. And the next group, Nemo, Mrs Puff, Klaus and Flounder. These are fictional famous fish. They are fish. They are indeed animated fish. And the last one, Smollett, Ahab, Haddock and Handy. Are these the captains? They are the sea captains. So, you did find the fish and the captains. That is a total of two points. The sliders will be getting the water wall and, of course, two and a half minutes to solve it. Your time starts now. Oh, you've got characters Dobby, Jez. Um... Oh, yeah, from uh, Peep Show. Yeah. Gerard and Hans. Oh, yeah. Johnson as well. Okay. Yeah. So Hans on the left. Oh, there we go. Good. Okay, Alexander the Great, um, Vic Reeves, Golden Eagle. What can you put in front of Orzoi? Or behind Orzoi? Yeah, because you can put a B in front of Oxer to make Boxer, a B in front of Bath. It's a Borzoi, yeah, Borzoi is a dog, I think. Okay, and a Beagle Bassett at the bottom. The beagle, well? A Beagle Beagle at the bottom and an asset at the top. Okay. So Three lives now. So okay. Reeves, Johnson, Vaz, and Alexander are all maybe politicians? Well, they're all. Um, it's Alexander Armstrong. Yeah, oh, okay. it creeps. What's a roll top and coffin and water? The roll. Water. You get a roll top. A roll type top of... desk. Yeah. Is a coffin a piece of furniture? Mm, or a cabinet? Water closet. Mm, unit. Oh, you got anything with the with, in the words? So it must be the, the connection of. Surnames and yeah, yeah shall I try it? Yeah, but we don't know the groups yet. Select so. three of them and then give us a bit of time to look at the other group. Johnson. Mm -hmm. uh, um, roll top, wall, coffin, water, closets, yeah. cabinets. I think try cupboards. I'll try that. You sold the wall. Very well done. So that's four points immediately, and there's more for the connections. What connects Jez, Hans, Dobby and Gerard? Um, they're all characters from Peep Show. Characters from Peep Show. Hans, more properly known as... Super Hans. Super Hans, of course. And the next group, Orzoi, Asset, Oxa, Eagle. You can place a B in front of each one to make the name of a dog. Yes, you can. And what about the next group, Alexander, Reeves and so on? Are they all Labour politicians? <laughs> Which Johnson are you thinking of? Uh, Alan. Do you know, I think I'm going to have to accept that answer. The clue is supposed to refer to Boris Johnson, who I think is very much not a Labour MP, and his brother Joe. So the connection intended was political siblings. Keith Vaz's sister is also an MP. Uh, there's Rachel and Ellie Reeves, and Douglas Alexander's sister was an MSP. 
but actually all right. There, there are four recent Labour MPs with that name, so I will accept that answer. And what about the next group? Roll top, water, wall and coffin. Um, types of furniture? I'm afraid that's not it. What they all are, roll top, water, wall and coffin, horse jumping fences. Yes. But you found four groups and you gave me three connections, albeit not all the ones I was expecting. <laughs> that is a total of seven points. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The puzzle hunters have four points, the sliders have 13. So a bit of ground to make up puzzle hunters, but it can be done. Fingers on buzzers for the missing vowels round. I can tell you that the first group of clues are all people associated with their footwear. Sliders. Michael Jordan. Correct. Puzzle hunters. Melda Marcus. Yes, it is. Sliders. Dorothy Gale. From The Wizard of Oz. Sliders. Duke of Wellington. Yes, it is. Next category, office supplies and what they symbolise on a computer. Hunters. Paperclip and attachments. Correct. Sliders. Floppy disk and save. Yes, it is. Hunters. Scissors and cut. Correct. Hunters. Clipboard and pets. Well done. Next category, Aesop's Fables. Puzzle hunters. The tortoise and the hare. Correct. Hunters. The boy who cried wolf. Yes, it is. Sliders. The goose that laid the golden eggs. Correct. Sliders. The ant and the fly. Correct. Next category, buildings with a dome. Puzzle hunters. St Paul's Cathedral. Yes, it is. Sliders. Tied for half. Yep. That's it. It's the end of the quiz. And looking at the final scores, Puzzle Hunters, you did do very well in that round and got your score up to 11. But the winners with 20 points are the Sliders. Very well played. So you are straight through to the next round. Puzzle Hunters, the bad news for you, good news for us, is that you are not out. You'll be back and have another chance to bang your head against one of our connecting walls later in the series. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I am very excited. I'm off to a country cottage with the question setters for our annual bonding mini break. And we're going ahead with that, despite everything, because it is our favourite time of the year. It gets pretty hot, if you know what I mean. On the first night, we all throw our car keys into a bowl, then randomly take out a set, head off to a room, and try to work out what car it's for, based solely on the shape of the key. It's pretty intense. Goodbye. <laughs>